Welcome back to Talent Watch, the series here on Beyond the Trailer that shines a spotlight on up and coming talent in front of and behind the camera that should be on your radar. This week I actually got two excellent suggestions from BTT viewer Kev on who should make the cut, and the first is Domhnall Gleeson. Gleason is an interesting case as he's definitely benefited from nepotism. His father is well-known character actor Brendan Gleason, yet he's worked very hard to get where he is today, which is on the brink of superstardom as a main part of the new Star Wars trilogy. But let's start at the beginning. Now to be fair, Gleason is very aware of how people might think he's had an unfair advantage thanks to his father. But while he might not aggressively capitalize on it, there's no denying that by just growing up in the industry, you do make connections you wouldn't otherwise make. Producers, directors, and casting directors can't help but notice you because they're already working with your dad. There's nothing Gleason can do to avoid this, so it can't really be held against him. But again, it needs to be acknowledged. And in one of Gleason's first movie, Studs, he did star alongside his father. But like Ben Stiller before him, an excellent example of second generation talent building on the first generation rather than leaning on it, the younger Gleason has done his groundwork. Long before he was cast as Bill Weasley in the final two Harry Potter movies where his father also appears, Gleason dug in deep to earn his own street cred as an actor. He's written and directed for the screen and stage, starred in the Oscar-winning 2004 short film Six Shooter, and was nominated for a Tony in 2006 for his work in Broadway's The Lieutenant of Inishmore. He's done Dickens and worked with Mamet, and done sketch comedy on TV with your bad self. He also was named Best Actor for TV Drama When Harvey Met Bob by the Irish Film and Television Awards. And while all this was going on, he began to slowly but steadily build his film career. He had a small role in the indie sci-fi film Never Let Me Go, where Andrew Garfield was also laying the groundwork for his own career. He followed that up with more small roles in True Grit, Dread, and Anna Karenina, gaining some real momentum which led to acclaimed UK writer-director Richard Curtis casting him in the lead role for the time travel romantic comedy About Time. Rachel McAdams and Bill Nye co-starred, and this is where you likely first saw him. You might also have noticed him when you were riding the new attraction Escape from Gringotts at Diagon Alley in Universal Studios Orlando, where he's prominently featured again as Bill Weasley. You might also get the chance to see him in indie charmer Frank, starring opposite Michael Fassbender, and also in Angelina Jolie's upcoming Prisoner of War drama Unbroken. He also is appearing in Calvary, where his father stars, but maybe at this point he's helping his father instead of the other way around. On the horizon is Irish romantic comedy Brooklyn, where he'll star opposite Saoirse Ronan with a script by High Fidelity and About a Boy's Nick Hornby. And of course, there's Star Wars. Nobody knows his exact role yet, but he is part of the core group of actors selected by J.J. Abrams and the other powers that be. So, do you think Domhnall Gleeson has earned his spot at the Hollywood table? And are you a fan of his work? Or do you still really have no idea who he is? Be sure to write your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph, and you can check out some more Talent Watch episodes right now.